What's up guys, welcome to this video. As I mentioned yesterday, today's topic is the upload settings for YouTube. I don't want to talk too much, we are jumping right into LumaFusion and I'm going to show you how you have to set this up export settings to get the best possible quality for YouTube. As you can see here, we are in a 1080p timeline with three sample clips. The first clip is a 4K GoPro footage with 50 frames per second. The second clip is a 1080p footage with originally 100 frames per second, but I wanted it to be in slow motion, so it has 25 frames per second. And the last clip is a time lapse with also 25 frames per second. So what we've got overall is a 1080p a timeline with 25 frames per second. Why 1080p if there are two 4K clips and just one 1080p clip? I've chosen 1080p because it's always better to downsample 4K to 1080p, which gives a crisp, sharp 1080p image, than upscaling 1080p to 4K just to get a 4K video because most of the devices we are watching videos on are 1080p and 1080p is definitely sharp enough. To set the settings for the export, we're going to export it and I'm going to show you what to do. So at first, set it to 1080p. Set the frame rate of 25 frames per second because this is the minimum frame rate we have in the timeline. The video quality is the most important point. Um, if you have a standard definition video, so not HDR, which is most of the video we are filming, so standard definition, uh, standard dynamic range, the recommended bitrate for a up to um, 30 frames per second 1080p video are just 8 megabits per second. So not 60, not 50, not 30, not 24, not even 12, but more than 6, so we are choosing 12. The recommended video codec for YouTube is 2H264, which is the most basic video codec. The new uh, standard codec will be H265, which has a better compression rate, but um, for nowadays, it will be still H.264. And this is also the codec most of the devices will support. And um, the audio quality will be 48 kilohertz. And now with these settings, we can upload the video. Now we are going to change to a 4K timeline like this. All of the videos here are 4K 25 frames per second. So what we are going to do is to set up a 4K YouTube upload. Resolution, of course, 4K. Frame rate, again, 25 frames per second, because this is the frame rate I filmed with. Video quality for 4K is surprisingly not even 50 megabits per second. If you're filming in 4K with up to 30 frames per second, YouTube will only have a quality of 35 to 45 megabits per second. And this is what we should give YouTube to uh, process it. Because if you, are, if you are giving YouTube too much uh, information, YouTube will do its own thing and not the thing we want LumaFusion to do, to render a video in a good quality. So what we are doing, we are choosing a video quality frame rate, a bit rate, YouTube can handle. The advanced settings are still the same than in a 1080p timeline. So guys, I hope this video was kind of helpful. I have a link in the description box down below with the recommended settings for YouTube from Google. So these are official settings um, you can work with. They have settings for all type of frame rates and resolutions from 4K to 360p, so I call it potato quality, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and um, so have a look in it. 
if you want to upload a video to YouTube, um, it's definitely worth it. Of course, these uh, points I mentioned are just my opinion. So if you have a different opinion or have found a different way to handle it, it's up to you. Even though, give thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and we will see each other next time, guys. Bye.